It's been 36 years since IWC introduced their first automatic and anti-magnetic timepiece called the Engineer. I'm Felix and today we take a deep look into that classic and iconic watch. So just lean back and enjoy. Firstly, let's take a look into the first steps. The Ingenieur was launched in 1954-55 and still belongs until nowadays to one of the most classical timepiece collections from IWC. The word Ingenieur is the French word for the English engineer and this name hit the nail on the head. Initially designed as a classical watch, it was highly different from the other models on a technical point of view. The engineer name represents a mechanical watch that meets high standards of technical design and craftsmanship. This watch has been designed for people who are working within a range of strongly magnetic fields and is a synonym of a watch especially designed for engineers, technicians, chemists, scientists, pilots, physicians, doctors and so on. The engineer came on the market under two reference, easy one with a date window and one without. And both were created under the direction of Albert Pelleton, IWC's technical director since 1944. And yeah, both were the civilian editions of the military IWC Mark 11, but with a different dial and more elegant hands. Creating a watch suitable for an everyday use. During the 1950s, the protection against magnetic fields was not exclusive to IWC. For example, Rolex launched the iconic Milgauss and Omega the, the famous Rainmaster. Four years after it's launched, a new movement was used, starting in 1959 with the reference numbers 666 and 766. And 666 is the model we do have here today. Next, we're gonna look into the function of the engineer. The reference 666 was designed to be classic in its simplicity and had one special characteristic, magnetic shielding. The engineer features a two-stage system of protection. First, anti-magnetic metals were used at the most sensitive parts of the mechanism. And second, the entire movement is enclosed in a double protective housing and an inner anti-magnetic cage. There is a soft iron under dial in addition to the dial itself which is increasing the thickness of the watch. By creating a Faraday cage, the watch resists magnetic fields and because of that, it can be used in a lot of different technical environments, like I told you before. So how does a magnetism affect the watch? When a watch gets in contact with a strong magnetic field, it has a tendency to run too fast or sometimes even too slow. For example, your watch can run faster if you put it regularly next to a TV or a stereo. There are many tiny magnetic steel components working inside of the watch, such as a hairspring or the balance wheel, and when they come in contact with the magnetic field, these parts can stick together and affect the spring. So we already checked the first two topics, let's dive into the design. The engineer is not a sexy or spectacular watch. This watch is all about function. Our model is from 1966 and comes in 36mm and may not sound particularly big, but it's unusually thick by the standards of these days. And yeah, so it creates a noticeable presence on the wrist. An interesting fact is that you can see on the crown the symbol of a fish. This fish should tell you that the watch is waterproof. And uh, yeah, the, the original engineer was water resistant to a depth of 100 meters. For many, the magic in a watch is in its dial. The engineer is not about complications like subdials, multiple hands or moon phases. The elegance and the design of the dial was hiding a single technical goal, displaying an accurate time that was not disturbed by external factors. The design itself is timeless, classic and sporty all at once. As a recent IVC catalog said about the engineer, understatement is part of the family tradition. 
The most styles out of that time comes in silver or white. Our model is in a white with a light milky silver touch. Black dials were also used, but not that often. Then pay attention to the famous engineer logo. You can see an arrow pathing through the name. Yeah, and this arrow is a Swiss Thunderbolt icon that warns of an electrical current's presence. The logo makes the watch easy to identify from other IWC automatics of the period and gives the watch its character. All regular production dials of the engineer carried the logotype of International Watch Company in script with Schaffenhausen in a slanted block type underneath. Some examples also include either an applied or printed IWC logo above the script. Like most original dials, our dial have stainless steel baton hour markers in the Calatrava style with luminous tritium dots, but you can also find models with error indexes. The tritium on the loom plots and dauphine hands has aged to a consistent yellow patina and they ensure readability in difficult conditions. It's possible that you find early models from 54 to 55 with radium. The center of our dial is raised above the outer chapter of the dial, which gives the whole face a remarkable depth. The day window with the white wheel and black numbers is well introduced at the three position. The exciting thing about that watch in this time was hidden inside. Our caliber 8531 was produced from 1958-59 to 67 and was equipped with a Peloton winding system, named after its designer. This movement is famous for being very robust and is equipped with an excellent double shock resistance at balance and rotor and a shock absorption at the spring. Yeah, like I told you before, they were using only anti-magnetic metals in the most sensitive parts of the mechanism, like the escapement wheel, the balance wheel, and the hairspring. All in all, the engineer is one of the earliest tool watches and is simple and clean in its overall look. Combined with its rarity, technically advanced movement and timeless design, make the engineer something truly unique. So that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed our video and Again, we would be very thankful if you hit the like button and subscribe our channel to support us. We are in the beginning to push a little bit the algorithm. And yeah, we would be very happy to see you in our next videos in, in the future. And have a great day.